Hello, good day to all my audience around the world. This is the fourth episode of Stories, and I have live with me Miss Elizabeth Percy. Miss Elizabeth, thanks a lot for joining in uh, on such a short notice. Thanks a lot for the fourth session. It's my pleasure. Uh, Miss Elizabeth uh, is the co-founder and chief trainer at Smart Inspiration UA Training, and uh, she is also a visiting faculty member at the Zabil Inter International Institute of Management. And uh, she has been working. Uh, in fact, she was working with uh, as a director of corporate communication in the Russell Kemmer Department of Civil Aviation. Uh, so, can we know more about you before starting? I'm an ordinary Indian girl raised by the royal family in the state of Kuwait. And it was, uh, it has been an amazing journey knowing what it is to be of expat parents, but being raised, educated, at the same time being endowed with the blessings of royalty throughout my journey. My career life has been a blessing because of the understanding of the royalty of the GCC. And their in-depth knowledge to me on the on the meaning of innate intelligence. Innate intelligence is not something that is taught to us, but the ruling families of the GCC, their quiet intelligence, their soft power is because of their innate intelligence. I'm proud to be uh, having so many careers with them. And I'm also proud to have won the Indira Gandhi Award in the state of Kuwait, uh, thanks to the intelligence they have endowed on me. And, and uh, my journey has not been pushed by my parents, but in fact, the rulers and members of the royal family have been very integral to what I am today. Uh, having an expatriate put into positions in Kuwait, Qatar, Ras al and UAE as a whole, is uh, people's dream. But for me, it came easy. And today I can say it is a result of innate intelligence. I did not get my jobs through CV. It was through phone calls saying, how much do you want? So if I can do it, any expat can do it. Ooh. I'm not bound to any, I believe in the global community and I always say I'm only Indian by passport because I was not raised like that. I was raised with that whole entourage of royalty. My career life too started like that. And my interview with Prince Charles in 1996 in the state of Kuwait moved me into high places. Uh, today, I'm not just a established editor and corporate communications, but I'm also an international protocol specialist. At the same time, I've, we've been recognized as Smart Inspiration UAE training on a global level because we train very differently. So we have, I won the Pioneering Woman Award as well as the Best Woman Award. We also talk to world leaders and their wives in special events. We have one event happening next month where the top women leaders are flying in from abroad where we inspire them on the importance of the mind. And that's what we train at Smart Inspiration UAE Training. We train that our own intelligence is what we become. We don't have to look at external factors. We have to recognize the gift that is within us. I'm very grateful at this time to Dr. Engineer Mohammed Ibrahim Al Ali who is the visionary founder of Smart Inspiration UAE Training. So a journey where I understood kings and I still understand them. A journey where I know that royalties and working for members of the royal family is very different from the corporate world. Mm -hmm. And a journey where I understood the importance of thought and the importance of words. And, the, and a journey where I have seen over 17 mentors. And uh, a lot of spirituality is needed to reach to these kind of positions. True. Because in a human level, you do not know how to reach these kind of positions. 
And my journey started very early, 19 years, I was already put into position. So there was no CV and running behind for a job. I didn't face those things. Mm -hmm. uh, got into a lot of uh, difficulties with uh, companies which are not local companies. So I also learned that it's our intelligence which says, which saves us or makes us to lose the hierarchy of a ladder. So self-intelligence is very important is what I would say. Such a uh, motivating uh, atmosphere you have created in this session because uh, it's not easy to climb up the ladder of success. Uh, it's not easy and it takes so much uh, challenges. It's, it takes so much tough times and tough moments in your life. So uh, uh, going forward, uh, I know that there would be more tough moments in your life. Uh, could you just share some of the tough moments and how did you overcome it? Yeah, so I, after these high flying jobs, I decided to be a consultant three years back for an, a small SME organization of an expatriate order. But uh, I wasn't paid a salary for three, three years. I still continued to blog and write her articles and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And at the same time, my income was that time, I was visiting faculty at Zabi, so that was my only income. The rest of it was never coming, though as a consultant, I was doing well, but the money was never coming to me. But that didn't allow me to lose hope because uh, I believed in my own strengths. I saw that the person I was working for was prospering. So that didn't allow me to lose hope. And I would say that, um, the, the innate intelligence within us is, is what guides us and keeps us alive. You can give up on those, those circumstances when they don't pay you and you can't pay your house rent and all those things. But uh, God saw me through that. For three years, I, I managed it. And uh, one particular year was not at all good. Mm -hmm. But after that, today, you see, I'm a co-founder. Yeah. So... And uh, in all that, I found, I was talking in a government event is when I found Dr. Engineer Muhammad Ibrahim Al Ali was in the audience. Uh, so I say that no matter how tough your circumstances are, don't give up on visibility. Your visibility is your opportunity. That's it. That's it. Your visibility is your opportunity. I think that's the, that's the takeaway for the audience uh, uh, through this session. Uh, it's not easy to get uh, visible among the crowd. And uh, it's, it's very demanding, especially in these um, tough times and competitive, competitive times. You have to be out of your comfort zone to all, do all these things. So I think uh, that barrier or thinking outside the box has helped you uh, in a lot of ways. Yes, it's, it's always thinking outside the box. And that's where I say hats off to the rulers who have been, uh, who have actually trained me, I would say, to the Jabra Sabah family in the state of Kuwait, uh, uh, the Qatari royal family, and uh, the Rasul Kema royal family, under whom I was for two years. And I would also say Jamal Majid, for under whom I was also for two years. These are my main influencers who have actually groomed me. Uh, and they have been very instrumental in a woman being sit sitting in the high positions. Even in uh, Kuwait Airways, I was the first woman PR to be taken in 1997. I'm very indebted to Sheikh Talal Mubarak Sabahu actually taught me that unless you're five star on the inside, you cannot showcase five star on the outside. My biggest learnings though was in Qatar Airways where I saw the world and I met the who is who of the world. And I, I've met, I, I can say most of the top brass of the world today, presidents and prime ministers, I have met during my reign in Qatar Airways. I'm very indebted to Mr. Akbar al -Bakr and uh, and the royal family of Qatar, who actually worked, uh, allowed an Indian girl to be seen in high places. 
So uh, thank you so much for spending so much time with us, uh, with the audience.